Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today we're making a really quick and easy drink just in time for St. Patty's Day. We're making some Irish meals. Now, when I saw this drink on Pinterest, I became immediately in love and obsessed because number one, I get to use these really trendy cups that are pretty much on sale everywhere. And number two, I get to make a drink that has some ginger beer. Now, an Irish meal is a rendition of a Moscow meal, but when I was looking up different recipes, it seriously reminded me of a dark and stormy, which is one of my all time favorite drinks because it has some ginger beer, some lime juice, some whiskey. Now, Dark and Stormy has rum, so if you want to substitute the Irish whiskey either with vodka or rum, then go ahead and be my guest. Keep in mind that my recipe will make two servings, and I have all the ingredients listed for you right here. Making an Irish mule is so easy and it takes no time at all. All you want to do is add some ginger beer to some ice and then you're going to squeeze some fresh lime juice. Now do keep in mind that the ginger beer is sweet so if you're not too crazy about sweet drinks then feel free to cut back on that. Then you're going to want to add some Irish whiskey or whatever kind of whiskey you have on hand. And again, you can make this drink as strong as you like or as weak as you like. And once you add the whiskey, you're going to want to mix that all together and stir it until all those flavors are well combined. And then once that's all mixed in, it's now time to drink. But before that, we're going to want to serve our drinks into some really cool mugs. Now, I found my mugs on clearance at Home Goods, and you can find them pretty much anywhere. And one of the coolest things I learned when I was testing out this recipe is that these mugs do an amazing job at staying really, really cold. So I honestly can't wait to have some Irish meals over the summertime when it's really hot because this mug would just be so cold in your hand. I can just kind of picture it now. Now, this next step is totally optional and up to you. I like to garnish these drinks with a little bit of lime wedges just because it adds a little bit of freshness to this drink as well. And then I also like to add a few sprigs of mint. If you've never had mint in your cocktail, please do so because again, it's just gonna give it a nice, crisp, and light flavor that's to die for. So there you guys have an easy drink that you can pretty much tailor to whatever you like, which I do hope you enjoy this St. Patty's Day. I'll be back next week with an all new video. And until then, buen provecho, and it's time to turn up just a little bit. All right guys, I'll see you.